All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks once again for joining in. It's been a minute since I've done one of these chart breakdown videos here. So thought I'd just go right ahead and drop one. I have got pretty busy with all the stuff that was happening. All right. But anyways, let's get into it. So I'm just going to be looking at gold as it relates to move that um has happened um moves that i'm waiting on to happen uh and see as it relates to a possible set for this week and um overall pretty much what i'm looking at in gold so on the monthly time frame we're just um looking to see right here we realize that from this last time we haven't had price uh revisited anything up here which is pretty good. Um, price did create support here, failed to close below with this monthly candle and this new candle now is approaching this monthly support. Nothing um, really to see there. Now, this is on daily, a weekly time frame. All right, so realizing on the weekly time frame that price is currently in a downtrend right here. So just trying to see if it created anything new, um, give us any signs for um, anything forthcoming. Seem as if right here, we could have gotten possible break and retest right here. Yeah, so put that in. So something to note on the weekly. Um, so right here, we created a support. Uh, we closed bearish this candle, even though it didn't break the low of the last candle. So that is something to take a look at. Um, rejection right here and seem to be heading down, possibly to these lows. So just uh, an overview on the higher time frames to see what we're looking at. All right. Try not to look too far into the future, so I won't give any analysis based off of the higher time frames. So on the daily, it is clear that yes, this was a break and a retest from a trend line, seeing that we had a resistance here, uh, support here that was broken, retested here, and then price came back into this zone. However, price failed to close above. So this zone is still, this resistance, it is still valid because it was created on the daily time frame and we have not had a daily close above this level. So therefore, we will keep this level in mind whilst we look into our trade setups. All right, so on the 4 hour time frame now, which is more so of a trading time frame, this is uh, the level that we just saw on a daily time frame. So you can see that price indeed closed right at it. So I'll just mark it off right there. Realize also that right here was the most recent low where price closed. So it is fair to say that price is consolidating a little bit within this range on the four hour at least, all right? So right here, it could look as if you're saying, okay, this is a potential pullback to continue down, or it could be to go up. We're not gonna draw any ideas from that just yet. We're gonna wait to see, all right? Ideally for me, I see gold pushing down, back into at least this week here to give us a week fill. Well, that is a four hour daily time frame. So, you know, it may not happen. It can happen with just one candle or two candles, depending on if we have a news event this week um, coming. It can happen. However, we don't predict the market. So, nothing there to say that um, it will happen or whatever time frame that we're looking at just a potential setup all right so hopping into the one hour time frame where we look to getting on trades now we do realize that for this past week so gold came down and what happened is that 
So we made a new law. So it was market close. Um, uh, repairs Tuesday, Monday the fourth. So Sunday, yeah. So market would have been up here where it opened. Price came all the way down. Made some new lows. Did a little bit uh consolidation here on the minor time frame though. We did get a TP two, um, on a fib. That was it. So this was a strong confirmation for sales from this area based on the fact that um it is a strong area this resistance from the daily time frame right if you remember it showed that we had one two fail attempts at breaking the highs here and based on this fib it showed that um tp2 falls right in that area right so that would mean that okay it is a strong possibility as well as other confirmations um, which I'd have. So I personally had some buys um, running um, with gold for this from down these lows going all the way up, all right? Ideally, I was looking to say that gold would either reject from here or if it broke this level, then we'd get a retest of the 1934-35 level, right? So right now, it completed TP2 on the FIB, right? So this FIB would have now been done away with. So what's the next move on gold? So currently for me, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game because on here, it did not break any significant lows for me, right? So it pretty much closed right back in the range. So this right here, is a low on the minor time frame. So we haven't had a closure below this level, right? Which I would love to see. And because it's right next to the, the major low, I would just be using this one at the bottom, right? So ideally, I'm, I am sales on goal. However, I do understand that price might go back to retest the 1934-35 level, right? However, I, on, I am looking for sales on gold. That's my overall bias, right? So what I have would be this trend line here to use as a gauge. Now, this is just a minor, Um, let me show you on the 30 minutes. Yeah, so this right here, Price created support, came down and broke it, retested it as resistance right here, and we had a minor rejection. So with this, it is possible that no price will go down and break these lows. Um, so for me to take any additional sales, I am in sales from up here. These level I'll show you on my actual chart to just use this chart to get a clean chart for the sake of this video. So ideally, what I'm looking for on gold would be something of the sort like this can be a retest of the trend line or the zone. So if I get it off the zone, that's fine. If I get it off the trend line, that's fine for continued sales. Overall, that's what I'm looking at, right? So even if even if price should ignore that and actually just push up to retest here, I'm still looking at sales. That's what I am at. The only way I'd be looking into buys is if price should actually come up and do something like this. Then I look for a retest of the 1935 area here, ideally to continue down, right? So for me, it's all cells that I'm looking at, right? It could get a deeper retrace, even though based off of this rejection here, um, I don't really see it happening because I expect, or what I was looking at to say, if price broke, so hit the TP2 fine and then retested like this level, 
and continued to push, then at that time we would have gotten the retest of the 35 areas, right? However, that didn't happen. It just fell right through. So what I am looking at now is just continued sales and I would have it playing or completing the overall four hour fib, which looks something like this. So if we're looking at TP1, then it would fall right at the wick fill, which is pretty much uh, almost right at this price sensitivity area here, right? Now, there are other confirmations that I use, yes, which I won't get into right now, but this is it. So overall, this is what we're looking at. So you guys can use this video and pretty much gauge your trade. Um, use it for insight. You may see something different than what I'm seeing, and that is fine. So this is not hard and fast to say, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is just my outlook because a lot of things can happen. You can even have a trend line from here and say, oh, even though it didn't touch it, you know, some persons might draw it from the body. And if you drew it from the body, then this would have been a trend line retest. I'm not um, convinced about that. I'm not looking into it. That is minor structure. Based on what is happening in here, I'm looking for a major move. I'm not interested in any more minor move. This was the only minor move that I was interested in, which was the bias, which we already took advantage of. All right. So that is what I'm looking at on gold. This is just what an overall chart looks like. I deleted the buy setup because it was a bit confusing because we had three actual buys that was running because I had it from the signals and I have it from the um, 500 to $100,000 challenge that I was doing with my group. So it was a lot that was going on in here. So I removed it, but pretty much is the same thing that I explained to you um, just now. That is it. So this is the cell. Um, this is the second one. This is the third one. So all three cells are still running. This one um, is still running as well. So it's for some persons close some, but all the way down, that's what I'm looking at to drive back into the levels that we spoke about. This right here is the weak fill um, that I showed you on the four hour time frame. So this is a key zone for me as well. So currently that is what I'm looking at um, as it relates to gold. So I hope this was of help to you. And thank you once again, and all the best with your trades for this week.